When I was at university, growing up in my 20s, I used to watch all these great kung fu films, samurai films, and one of the things that I loved about the samurai flicks was how confident and calm and measured, uh, purposeful that these samurai warriors were. And I understand that it was, you know, a fictional um, movie and this was not a real thing, but um, they were uh, presenting um, a look at how the samurai might have lived. And if you look at the Bushido code from the time, which was sort of a Japanese equivalent to the chivalry movement or the way that knights uh, were in the Crusades and around that time in other areas to the west of in Europe, you'll note that they had that sort of same noble cause. And one of the primary portions of the Bushido Code is, you know, living every day like it's your last. But I was always really amazed at how these people moved. And that uh, sort of brings us to our topic today, which is um, being deliberate. Uh, when I first started uh, looking at meditation and trying to figure out what I wanted to do and how to get into it, uh, one of the first books that I read mentioned how washing dishes is very similar to mindfulness and it's a great way to get into it. And so as you're washing the dishes, you get lost in the, in the, the movement of your hands on the dishes or getting lost in the feel of the soap and the hot water on your hands and just getting, being very, very present in that space gives you the feeling of how it is to be mindful and to be in living in that moment. So what I started to do was trying to figure out how I could take that perspective on life and apply it to other areas of my life. So when you're walking, if you take every step and you're very, very careful and deliberate in each step that you take, it doesn't mean that you're tensing up and you're trying to make every step perfect, but you're watching where each of your feet go. You're not sort of going into autopilot. Same thing goes for other areas of your life. Let's say you're, you know, you, you, you open a can of, uh, a carton of juice and you pour it into a glass and you close it and you toss the, the carton back in your fridge or uh, you open a, you know, a package of chips and then you don't pay attention to the way that you close it or it rips or however, you're just living life very mindlessly. You're just kind of, you've got this end goal in, in mind, you want to get to the chips, you want to consume the chips and then get rid of them and you know, whatever the, the action is, it's a very automatic mode and it, that sloppiness translates into other aspects of your life and it sort of lets you uh, continue to live in the future for you know where you're going to be this weekend, what you're going to be doing in three years, when you can afford this cottage or this car that you want, etc, etc, etc. So when you're trying to get into the state of being mindful, you want to start to try and be a little bit more deliberate in everything you do. So when you open the juice, putting the cap down in one space, pouring the juice carefully, not splashing it everywhere, putting it back on, placing it back into the fridge in the space where it goes without being haphazard, just being very careful, metered, determinate, putting it in one spot. And as you start to do this more and more, you will start to become, uh, that will become your new automatic state. And that will leave you in that moment where you are living for each part of the day, each part of the hour, each part of the minute, each part of the second that passes. If you're doing a whole bunch of things at once, walking down the street, listening to music, reading your phone, um, looking for a street sign, um, just try to move from one activity to the next in your mind just to meter what you're doing, how you're doing it. I like to always come back to the breath. It's always happening no matter where you are, what you're doing. And if you can just rest in that breath, just count your breath or feel the in and out and be deliberate and metered, you'll just feel the entire world calm down and this will actually then bleed out into other areas of your life. You will be more confident, you'll be more calm, you'll be more uh, patient 
you'll get to places early, you'll leave on time, you'll do all these things that before you don't do because you're not living in the moment. You're just sort of, oh, I've got to rush off, I'm late, I'm trying to fish, finish off and pack something into the end, uh, getting ready, showered, deodoranted, uh, spritzed, whatever it is that you're doing. By being mindful, you're never out of time. You're always in time, you're always where you need to be when you need to be there. So, like I started this video, one of the easiest ways to get into this sort of perspective of living is to go ahead and wash the dishes the way that I described it in the video. Just take your time, every single wipe of the sponge, every single wipe of the cloth, all has a reason, all has a movement, all has a motion that you can live within. Start doing that and see where it goes from there. I'm sure it will bring you some inner peace anyway. It's definitely not the easiest thing to get into at first. You feel like your brain is kind of working extra hard as you're trying to focus on things, but slowly that just becomes more and more peaceful and if you can always come back to the breath, you'll find that you'll just move forwards in calm. So, as always, thanks for watching. Guess home, namaste. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's coming up very, very soon. And uh, please take a look at the written portion of this vlog that is uh, found at humblepie.wordpress.com. And uh, take a look at some of the other stuff that I've written there as well. Go ahead and thumbs up, share, do all the things that people do to YouTube videos. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I've been really eager and excited to share it with you.